Yo, what's going on homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video and in today's video, it's day 4, season 7 of the grandest party of them all. And in today's video, we're taking the one, the only, the goat, the god, the king of grand party himself, Gold D Roger, into the final two days. And the big reason I'm doing this is because I actually have two different comps. I'm going to touch on the last comp in the, in the last day. But today, we're going to take a bit more of a traditional Roger build into Grand Party. And the big reason I want to do this is because I want to showcase the chonky slashes. If you guys heard me on GGP, if you heard Todd talking on GGP, if you've been here, heard me talking for a little while, the chonky slashes do absolute bits with the new six pluses of Bardo Cavendish, Shanks Crew, as well as Cat Dog, and with the help of Whitebeard Roger as well as Odin, we can do some really, really cool stuff. On the final team, we have our side team, uh, Striker and Driven to any buff, so Enel is going to pop there. We might swap to Law if we find, like, Int Driven, because Int Driven's running around like crazy. And then the middle team is a stereotypical Int build, because that goes crazy. So let's dive on in, and let's see what we're going to be facing in today's matches. All right, so we're going to go Mano Imano versus this particular Roger. We have one retry, retry so if we lose, we're going to go back and fight that top musica. But I'm pretty confident that we can actually take this down because we did bring Law pretty fast into that front lineup. Um, the Int Driven team, it's kind of nutty. It's actually kind of crazy. But if they start doing big damage, we can pop one of our bursts and we should be able to win. This last fight looking like a Roger build and then we're going to use Chonky Slashes against Dex. Like I said, if we lose, we can just move on to top musica. You see stuff like Top Music, uh, Super Tandem Luffy, Straw Hat Crew V2, Verse Yamato. They're the fights that you want to be taking on. You don't want to be fighting Roger, but look, for your entertainment, that's what I'm here for. And if you enjoy the 8 vs 8 fights, you know you came to the right place. But let me know how you guys are doing in Grand Party. What strat are you guys using? Are you using your 1-1-3s, one, one, your 1-1-4s? One, one, are you using your low CP strats? Or are you going in and you're actually having a bit of fun with the game mode? I do understand that the game mode isn't for everyone, and I do understand why a lot of people don't like this game mode, but for myself, I do have a lot of fun with it. Hopefully, these videos bring a lot of fun to you guys too. So, let's check out the fly. Let's see how we're going here. Um, even with Law, they still have level 4 CT on Fuji and level 2 on um, Moria, which is kind of nuts, to be honest. We're going to cop some half stats here. Fortunately, it is what it is. Using Int in the front is not a bad strat from the opposition because using Int means that they have um, the hard stats with a lot of their characters and then you can save the burst for the back end of the fight. So the downside in it here is if we don't have um, hard stats, we immediately lose a lot of damage with Odin and then Yamato only hard stats literally one unit and then hits two units that aren't that unit. That is the big downside to Sai. I was saying it in yesterday's video, Every time I burst side, they just have, like, way better luck than when I use side. So, look, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, uh, and sometimes you just have to roll with it. Holy crap. Broly, that was too much damage. I was not okay with that. This is why I call Brogy Broly, because he does so much goddamn damage, bro. So much damage. All right, Rebecca Toy Soldier, what do you got for me? You got some good damage for me. That's what you got. Roger. Come on, Roger, please. Please. Yes, yeah, fixed damage of Roger coming in clutch. Oh no, kind of scared he's going to use the burst. Yamato's dead here, see you later. And Lord dies as well. If I popped the burst there, we probably would have got a dub. Probably would have got the dub there. Oh. I don't want to pop my burst here just to lose. To be completely honest with you. I, I just really don't want to do it. I think, I think we're going to cop an L. That Blackbeard special is going to hit us so hard. And everyone's bunched together. Like I said, every time I use Psy, shit like this happens. Every time I burst Psy, it's a whole different story. But look, we're just going to skip this because that's a wrap. Always bad RNG with Psy and I just, I just don't love using it. I'm just not a fan of utilizing Psy. But we move, we move. We got Chunky Slashes coming in hot. Some chonky slashes coming in hot. Once we can see Odin's special coming in, we're going to pop our burst. Cat Dog, uh, Bardo Cavendish, they can do lots of damage as well. And um, Dex teams, they're, they're still pretty scary, even under Roger. Let's see what we're rocking. We have a lot better stats than what they do. We do have to be careful with giving them their burst as well. 
But I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that we can get the win here and bait out their burst. Unless they uh, just sort of hang on to it and just say, yeah, nah. Alright, here we go. Get the HP cuts of Shanks off. Now we can pop our burst. This is going to guarantee us the win here. He has his burst ready to go, though, so that's kind of annoying. But uh, we're going to go bada bing, bada bop. See you later. There's the revive. Cat dog, do some damage. Beautiful. You love to see it. I'm. Oh, I was going to say, I'm actually okay with Pell going because we do need to take damage to have our burst ready for that final fight. There's the burst right there. You love to see that. That is big for us. Pell's going to hit us pretty hard here now. They should still have half stats there, right? Cat Viper, Dogstorm, they tanked that. Yep, that was still half stats. Half stats here with Kid hitting us. Okay, we tanked that. Again, good damage. Great damage because um, we definitely... Oh, Killing King is massive there. Solar Mask, hit, hit, us, hit, us, hit us fairly hard, brother. I want you to hit us hard. Hell's gone. Doflamingo, Flamingo, pop your special, brother. Give me that burst back. Yes. Yes. That's fine. We've won this fight. This is, that, that, this is a wrap. Chonky Slashes, man. Chonky Slashes. They're so much fun. They are so much fun. Beautiful. Alright, and that is, that is just a big W for us. Huge W for us. Huge. Chonky Slashes getting it done. Now... We have the int team. We have the big int team. Roger was in the front as well, which is telling me that there's a Psy team coming, but it could be Slashes. It definitely could be Slashes. If not, though, it's Psy. We have a poo. We're in a good spot here. We're in a very good spot here. We have a lot of half stats ourselves, so it kind of contradicts what we're trying to do with Roger. But um, this is what I mean by the Psy team just kind of misses the mark, especially if you use it first and you don't have Yamato and Odin at 100% chance of hitting units with that half stats. The big reason you want to actually run them. Plus, you got to remember, uh, free spirits they get um, CT reduction as well, so that is that is a little bit annoying. So look at this, what it is. So let's see how we go here. All right, we can use this now. B E A beautiful, huge half stats. That's gonna make Yamato hit like a feather. It's gonna make Apu hit like a goddamn truck. Ready? Boom! Oh! Huge damage. Look at that. Look at that damage. Holy dooly. They still have 35 attacks sitting there, but only 4 defense. Not exactly a fun type for them. Moria. Fixed damage. Oh, good damage. Kid, please, just, just take the whole team out, kid. Just do it. You hit one unit, kid. You hit one goddamn unit. You had one job there, brother. This is what you were meant to do. Thank you, Top Musica. Thank you for showing us what a very good PvP character should be doing. Classic kid in the whiff. The classic kid whiff. Classic. Oh, look at look at look at that. Look at that freeze frame of the poo. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wrap this up there. That's a JJ. Well done to the Inns team. Well done to the Chongi Slashes with Sai. Pick up your game. Pick up your game. Next fight. Alright, so not too many options. I think we're gonna take on this particular Roger Comp. Because second fight should be. A Psy team from where the Roger is sitting and then we can use our chonky slashes first We can finish it off with our int team. So I think that is pretty much how we're gonna rock it um, Let's do this Let's do this and now we're at that moment now where we just kind of close our eyes and pray Once you get to the 10 win mark, it starts getting very very spicy because um, You don't have any more retries like your retries are gone and uh, it, it, it puts you in a very, very scary position when you actually jump into these fights. Especially on the final day, right? On the final day, it gets very, very scary. Very scary. And obviously, Rogers, Whitebeard Rogers, they're all floating around like crazy. That Kaido comp down the bottom was there, but like Kaido was in a very weird spot, and I didn't like it. I didn't, I haven't seen it. And whilst Roger is scary to burst, like, if we can kind of, like, strongly estimate our chances against Roger compared to not knowing what the hell we're coming up against, I would much rather take that calculated guess. So, let's see how the fight's going. Um, Dex doesn't do too much damage early, um, and Chonky Slashes will tank. Unfortunately for us, their comp is very spread out across the map, so we just lost a shitload of damage when it comes to Shanks and his HP cut. Upside to that is we don't actually get a lot of Roger charge, but... 
as you can see, we should have done way more damage there. And as soon as Whitebeard Roger goes off, we are going to completely charge the uh, Whitebeard Roger charge. The, sorry, the Roger um, special anyway. So here it comes. Big HP cut. Who are we killing? All right, we killed Dalton, which is kind of big because um, Cat Viper is nowhere near as scary with no quick units. But it means that Pell's coming in. It, interesting that using Cat Dog. I think the Cat Dog combination is pretty dead. You just need Cat Viper. And even still, Cat Viper has kind of dropped off a lot when it comes to PvP. We're going to take Luffy special. Luffy should be giving someone cooldowns. Of course, you give it to Pell. That was probably worst case scenario for us getting getting uh, Pell getting the cooldowns. This is looking very good for us, though. Um, I do expect the burst to be popping off within the next 11 seconds. If not, within the next 21 seconds. It's nice to see Pell going there before the burst, though, which is good. Cap Life and Dogstorm, hit them hard, please. Yeah, not bad damage. There's no Dofi in the back two on this Dex team, too, by the way. Forgot to mention that. That is a huge, huge benefit for us. Odin. Okay, I'd love to see the burst now. Like, I would love to see a burst coming in. 30 second mark. The Brogy Monsters come in with a full charge special. So I can, I'm kind of feeling a, a, a Roger burst popping soon, right? Surely a Roger burst. Soon. Surely. Surely. Pels and Luffy's gone. Great to see. Surely, surely there's a Roger's burst coming. Come on. Come on. Surely. Chonky Slashes are doing their thing too, by the way. There it is. You kn I knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Whether it was 11 seconds, whether it was 21 seconds, we knew it was coming. This is going to... Okay, only hit one unit, Shanks. Very nice for us. Very nice for us indeed. We got our burst ready to go for the second fight, so I'm pretty confident here. Okay, that paralysis is kind of annoying. 8 to 4. We're gonna, definitely going to win this on the... Um, the stipulation of having more units, which is always good. Pell, watch Pell just bink him, ready? Kind of annoying though, because it's going to charge the, the Roger burst, ready? <laughs> but a bink, but a bop. But that's okay, that's okay. First fight, very safe. Chonky Slash is getting it done. Beautiful stuff. Bellissimo, let's move on to the second fight, which we really hope is going to be Sai, because, you know, Roger's in the front, right? It is Sai, you love to see it. Well, for us... We are using the Int Team. It is a side team with Straw Hat Crew. Now, this comp is very interesting, and I do think this is probably one of the better comps that you can actually run for Sai. The Straw Hat Crew gives them a lot more uh, viability. The downside at the moment in GP is that uh, Free Spirits get level 5 CT reduction. So, with Straw Hat Crew, they actually go after the Sai units do, uh, which can be a huge problem. So, let's pop this bad boy right here. Get some half stats going. And then, once a poo pops off... Uh, no, that's good. He's gonna go right now, isn't he? There it is, yeah. I had a feeling this was coming. I could I could see that coming. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, and, kid, why are you always whiffing, brother? You're always whiffing. You got the special bond on Yamato, which is nice. And even a poo! This Yamato... This Yamato just went, I'm, don't worry guys, I got this. And remember when I said Strike Crew goes after everyone? Well, I lied. I lied, because here they come. Here they come. Now we're going to cop a bunch of specials. And we have half stats, so we're going to lose a lot of characters here. Yamato's still not ready though. That special bind was absolutely clutch from Kid. But I would have loved for him to hit more units. Also, huge clutch um, burst from the opposition. 20 second CT, uh, sorry, special bind on Straw Hat Crew is very, very good. Um, I think we've got this one in the bag. I do have a burst though. Which I'm actually going to use because this will guarantee us the win for sure. This will, this will guarantee us the win. Dory's only going to hit Rebecca Toy Soldier, but that's fine. No, hits the Straw Hat Crew as well. Love to see it, because there's a revive. Once, um... Yeah, there we go. Kid's ready. Nice. Kid! Finally, don't whiff! You love to see it, kid. You love to see it, son. That's okay, because we, we've won now. Smoker in the back is kind of scary, but, like... 
Once this goes, this is why we call him Broly. It's why we call him Broly. He does a lot. He does big damage. He's a big boy with some big damage. So, second fight, you love to see it. And this is what I meant by, like, calculating the win compared to just not knowing what we come up against. Let's move on to the final fight. All right, so the final fight, we found Super Tandem Luffy. And interesting enough, they're using strength. I don't know why. I, and I, I just, it, it, it perplexes me that people use strength with something like a, like a Luffy build. Like, it's so left field. It's so left field. I guess that's what they're trying to do towards the back end. But as I mentioned in the previous fight, Sai just lets me down so many times. So we just scrapped our Sai team and we built a quick team and just chucked Roger at the back end of it. This is sort of the strat that I'm going for in tomorrow's video. So it's a little bit of a sneak peek. But if you guys got this far in the video, I want to see sneak peek in the comments section below. So with that said, we are going with anti-strength driven. Then we're going to go into, we got chunky slashes to round out the final fight. This should easily build up our burst. Honestly, I don't even really see us getting our burst. But, but I have been wrong. I have been wrong before. So, King, uh, Kid, they're very scary. Kaido is great if Kaido is versing Dex, but... We ain't running no decks. And as you can see, Sugar is absolutely nerfing the crap out of their cooldowns. Minus 12 cooldowns. Absolutely massive. Massive on Boa. And then 9 for everyone else. Akainu does absolute monstrous damage. Shiki is... Uh, sorry, not Shiki. Um, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at the damage. He's already got his burst ready to go. Like, it's wild. Look at this nerfing. Absolute nerfing to the crapper like absolute nerfing to the absolute crapper please hit me with the, the hp cuts I, I need the damage i need you to do a little bit of damage to me strength please say goodbye to boa look at you guys you can't even get close to your special son go on use the burst i dare you i dare you please make my day hey could the timing get any better could the timing get any better holy dooly Oh, we got our Akainu special ready again. Like, please, give me, like, give me more damage. King, go for it, brother. Go for it. Killing Akainu kind of sucks. Kid's probably going to kill some people here. Sick. Now we got our burst. Now we get, now we get our Porkami and Blue Jam combination coming in. That's fun. But, um, that's sort of what they're going for. They're going for that stupid damage of, um, King and, um, Kid. So... I can definitely see what they're going for, but it still perplexes me. Still absolutely perplexes me. I guess if this was a hidden fight, um, it would be a lot different. And it would be a lot scarier. Especially if you're running decks at the front, right? Because Kaido is just there to, like, absolutely decimate. So, um, that was a light work game, definitely. But if that was hidden, could be something interesting to look out for. On to the next fight now. Um... We are using Int Driven. Um, again, not boosted under Roger. But doesn't matter because Driven gets so many buffs here. Um, I probably should have taken out Apu because we're not versing Sai and brought in Blackbeard. Blackbeard is a fantastic, fantastic character when it comes to uh, PvP. Especially if you have a lot of powerhouses on your team like Fuji, Tomizuka, and uh, Moria. Um, but Apu just works really, really well like in case you see Sai. So that's the upside to him. Plus, we're going to have our burst ready. I'm just very concerned about how much damage we do because Luffy's going to do that. Yeah. And he's going to give the cooldowns to Pell and Kid. All right. We're going we're gonna to pop this now, so that's going to halve stats Pell. Uh, that means that Pell's going to do a lot less damage to us. Like, a lot less damage. He's going to hit uh, probably Top Musica. Yeah. The Top, top Musica is our strongest unit by far. Level 150, full level limit break. And now, full half stats. Oh, you love to see it. That is huge damage. Kid finally isn't going to whiff. Massive damage. You love to see it, kid. Good job. I actually want Blackbeard to go, but he's definitely dead here. There's the revive on him, though. That is kind of good for us, because now we're going to cop a HP cut. And you're going to be like, Stunt, why do you want to take this damage? But look at that burst charge. Look at the charge that uh, Roger gets just from copying our Blackbeard special. It's absolutely massive. 
It's it's really really handy, really handy. We are going to cop the Dofi special as well, but we're still under half stat. They're still under half stats, so we can definitely tank that. Um, remember, this is where they're getting like their most stats. Like Luffy on the team is giving them so much. Uh, I feel like Dofi's going to get the cooldown. Uh, Pell did. Honestly, I probably wish it was Dofi more than Pell. Actually, take it back. They both died. <laughs> Catch a lot of boys. See you next time. Dungeon Joe on the bench too, by the way, is just such an annoying tactic. Um, look, it'll definitely work sometimes. Like, but like when you're defending, not when you're attacking. Just don't be that guy, man. Just, just don't be that guy. Simple, simple. Insert the meerkat. Simple. Mori's in the back here. This is gonna. This is a wrap. This is a huge wrap. Once we um. Once we get our our burst ready, I, I'm I'm just gonna pop it. I'm just gonna pop it. Go on, Dalton. Make my day. Bing, bang, bong. Oh, dude. So close. Come on. I don't even think... I honestly don't even think we're gonna get the burst. I honestly don't think we're gonna get the burst. Oh, no, we are. Watch, is Roger gonna kill units with the burst? <laughs> that is my favorite thing to do. Using a Roger burst and just watching the team like die is so much fun. So much fun. You love to say it. But that's gonna wrap up day four of Grand Party. Another three wins in the bag utilizing the GOAT goal D Roger. Chonky slashes are a wave. They are so much fun to use as you guys saw as a front team. But, as you guys saw with Ink Driven and Quick Driven, you don't even need to be boosted under Roger to actually manage a very, very capable and strong team. But that's going to wrap up the video anyway, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to go down there, belt the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Remember, I want to see sneak peek in the comment section if you guys got this far. If you guys want to be like these beautiful people over here that you see on the right-hand side of the screen... Hit me up on Twitch with a follow so you guys can don't miss out on the streams, the live content, and all of the fun stuff in the testing of day one. We have one day to go, and best of luck to all you guys playing Grand Party. Most importantly, though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.